Hope you're enjoying a quiet Saturday morning with us. But if you live on the East Coast, fair warning, that quiet will soon be interrupted. It's not the zombie apocalypse, but it's going to sound like it. It's an invasion of billions of creatures coming back to life after being buried since the 1990s. They're called cicadas, and they make their presence known with a buzzing racket that's been compared to the sound of a New York subway train. Here's Magali Laguerre Wilkinson. It's the arrival of an insect that knows how to create a buzz. In one of nature's great mysteries, the brood two cicadas are expected to appear en masse along the East Coast this spring, a ritual nearly two decades in the making. Brood 2 is a uh, periodic cicada that hatches out every 17 years. Craig Gibbs is an entomologist at the Wildlife Conservation Society's Queen Zoo in New York. The specific thing about uh, these 17-year cicadas is that they're going to be a very dark colored body, they have really bright red eyes, and they also have bright red wing veins. The cicadas spend nearly their entire lives underground, feeding off the roots of trees. They go through five stages before reappearing above ground, and are found anywhere from North Carolina through New England. What will happen is the nymphs will come up and they will shed their nymphal skin and they'll crawl up into the trees and they'll take about five days to harden and then they'll start for the next four to six weeks calling and looking for mates. New York Staten Island Museum has been celebrating cicadas since 1881 and currently has an exhibit honoring the return of the 17-year cicada. So I've had reports of people finding them under flat rocks and things over the last week or so. So they're near the surface, but still not warm enough for them to emerge yet. This year, their return is forecasted sometime between mid-April and late May, when residents will be bombarded with millions of cicadas per square mile. Once the ground temperature gets to be about 64 degrees, um, that's when they start emerging. They're harmless to both trees and humans, except... that it will be noisy. There's no getting around the noise. And, that, and again, that's just the males looking for females. So what's noisy to a human is actually a mating call. Yeah, what's noisy to a human is the sound of love to another cicada. If this particular love song is not music to your ears, after about a month, the cicadas will disappear again until 2030. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Magalie Laguerre Wilkinson, New York. I love, the, I love that shot when they slither out of their skin. Everybody in the studio went, eh! They're not going to win any beauty prizes, are they? No, not pretty to look at.